All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We're at SV9007, which is a 1912-13 Fiat Tipo 55 60 horsepower speed car. Uh, guaranteed to do over 70 miles an hour before the ter First World War. We're going to show you the procedures on how to start the car. And Andreas, you want to get ready to do that? We're going to do this. Let me just show the cockpit and so forth. We're going to come around here, around the side of the car. And hello, Andreas. Say hello. Hello. Okay, here's what we do. Now, here's a couple of interesting points on this car that we had to find out for ourselves. Andreas, show them the compression release. This little handle, we didn't know what to do because we had no instructions and had never messed with anything this big or this old before. So anyhow, that is your compression release. It's now pulled out. The next thing we're going to do is get into the cockpit and show you what has to be done. Our main switch. Your main switch right here has both a battery and a magneto set up on it, and it's in a little knob in the center that is both for start, start and run. So we're going to put it in the start position, hook it into the battery. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is pull out the choke which is down here. Give it a little bit of choke. The next thing is to adjust the timing. Retard the Re timing. Retard the timing a little bit. Okay, now the next procedure for starting this here, it is a four-speed transmission and the brake switch or the, uh, the handbrake is also the shifter, the shifter is, the also, shifter the is also the starter, and it's just in the position that you're in. So by going, pushing the button and going forward, we're going to hit the starter. Now, as soon as it starts running, we push in the compression release. And I come, switch to magneto, switch to magneto and turn to run. To run. Turning it left to run. This is it. Coming around again. Your exhaust off to the side. And we're ready to go. And that's exactly what we're going to do, Andreas. Drive away. Let me get in. We'll just go around the block. Having a ride in a 99 year old car. Square cut gears, thank God they're big. whistle in the car which is uh, operated from the exhaust system well, here we go again around the block goes like a bat out of hell actually we've had it at 70 miles an hour plus now for a right hand corner here very, very direct steering. It's very tough to steer, but that's because this is a Tipo 55 uh, sports model, which was a basically the racing car at a time with fenders. If you had one of these cars, you could have it or a nice home in a nice neighborhood furnished for the same price. So it was called a gentleman sportster. So if you had one, you would be a gentleman. And if you had it, you would race it. So there you go. Here we go. Woo! It actually is a gas. This is not no little poot around little thing for a little kid. This is a hell of a car. And it just had a ride in a 99-year-old car. I've accidentally touched.
touch the trip meter, there's a trip meter on the speedometer that allows you to record what your high speed is on this car. So here we are, we're coming back. And you've now had your ride in the, in the Fiat. I'm gonna try to get out of here without falling over. Turn it off. We're gonna do it like this. We just kick it with our feet, but you just go like this, boom, and it's off and done. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna just see. I th just going around the block. We're gonna hit the see what the trip meter said. I think we probably did 25 or 30 or so on it. Oh no, I still. This is still. <laughs> I didn't hit the trip meter from the last time, so it shows that the last time we had it out on the freeway, we had it at 70 miles an hour, and it's still on there. So anyway, that is our Fiat speed car, and there's very, very few of them left in the world. In fact, we've never found another one, actually. I found a uh, original sales brochure from Poland. It was in Poland. And I bought it and brought it back. But this car was a Poughkeepsie built Fiat, which means Fiat started with the first company, foreign car manufacturer to ever build cars in America. And they did that in Poughkeepsie, New York from between 1910 to 1915. This car is really quite a piece. And it's, you, Andre is standing next to it. You can get an idea uh, how big this car is. This is not your father's Model T. Anyway, there you go, and uh, you've now had a ride in our little car. Thank you.